What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about the classic Nintendo Mini. I wish I had one in my hand, but I only can show you a hand because this thing was very hard to get my hands on. Actually, this Monday they just passed. They had them at Best Buy. Uh, and I had to be at work at 7. Best Buy is open at 10 down here in Atlanta. So I had my wife go up there and when she got there, there were five people standing outside. So I didn't get a chance to tell anybody this, so you guys will learn it first. I'm super excited about this. Uh, and so she told me she's going to be in line. She's waiting for him to open up the door. And I'm like, I'm finally going to get my my classic Nintendo Mini. They open up the door and they tell everybody in line that they only have two. Yeah. So they had two. So they, they all that hoopla online over the weekend uh, telling people to go, go to Best Buy and get it. They got two in Morrill, Georgia at Best Buy. And I still was unable to get one because my wife was number six in line. And that just completely sucked. But... There is good news about the Nintendo uh, Classic Mini for those who actually own one, not the people who are scalping them, selling them at scalp prices. Nintendo did damn good with this thing. And when I say damn good, they did they did fantastic. And I'll drop a link in the description. And this is probably why we're going to see this thing every year. Nintendo says it sold over 2 million NES Classics. Over 2 million. Nintendo's global sell-in figure for the NES Classic is now officially in the millions. According to Nintendo of America President Reggie fils the total global sale in for Nintendo's pint-sized version of its 1980s Nintendo Entertainment System is 2.3 million. The last official figure we've seen arrived several months ago when the company said it had sold 1.5 million units of the NES Classic Mini units worldwide. At that point, the presumption was the system would continue to be sold indefinitely. And that's what I thought. I thought it was going to just stick around, but you never know what Nintendo's going to do. Alas, it wasn't to be. The Nintendo counterintuitively discontinued the NES Classic this month, which just oh made no sense. The retro 8-bit video game system, which comes with 30 NES Classic games for $59, has been very difficult to find for months, boosting its price on secondary markets into the hundreds of dollars, and I say, fuck you, to everybody doing that. Reggie fils told Time Magazine, quote, We had originally planned for this to be a product for last holiday, we just didn't anticipate how incredible the response would be. Once we saw that response, we added shipments and extended the product for as long as we could to meet more of that consumer demand, end quote. Which leads to the 2.3 million sold figure, a very respectable achievement for a system that plays games three decades old. You're damn right. Still some of the best games of all time. When I asked Reggie fils about the potential for the NES Classic to resurface as a product in the near future, he declined to add anything to Nintendo's existing statement, which stipulates that the company has, quote, no plans to produce more NES Classic Edition systems for NOA regions, end quote. But fils did suggest the reason why the company pulled the brakes on the system amidst unprecedented demand. Quote, even with an extraordinary level of performance, we understand that people are frustrated about not being able to find the system. And for that, we, are, we truly do apologize. But from our perspective, it's important to recognize where our future is and the key areas that we need to drive. We've got a lot going on right now, and we don't have unlimited resources, end quote. So he's talking about the Nintendo Switch and probably talking about the Super Nintendo Mini that we should see at the end of the year. Now, I'm not really um, a pre-order guy. I never pre-order things. I didn't pre-order my Switch. My wife walked into a Walmart and just the guy said, oh, yeah, we got a couple of them in the back. She said, can I have one? So, I get lucky from time to time, but I never pre-order. But I'm pre-ordering the Super Nintendo Mini the day that they announce it. I think that's going to be a huge thing. 2.3 million units sold. If they do this every single year, that's just huge amounts of revenue going into Nintendo. You know, just these retro consoles, what do they do to Nintendo, Super Nintendo, 64, and then maybe the GameCube, if that's possible? It probably is at this point. If they do that, and then the fifth year, they go back to the classic Nintendo again and maybe do 60 games... It's just an unlimited revenue stream. I think people will constantly buy this thing. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Were you one of the lucky people, you lucky bastards, who got the Nintendo Classic Mini? Because I wanted one. I wanted it really bad, but they only had two. And there was a lot of hoopla about getting it on Monday. But, you know, there's always next lifetime. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to support my independent venture on YouTube, please become a patron. And there's a link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.